Hi guys, this is Raquel with paintsandglitter.com and today I'm just going to um, share a couple of little projects or, or maybe just one, but uh, this is for a, um, just an entry for a group that I'm in and uh, it's called uh, Creando Con Ellas or Creating With, um, with Them in the f um, from Facebook and it's a lovely group. I've met some really sweet ladies and um, so I decided to participate at the, um, the, um, the project is a memory decks card. Um, and I recently just made some, so I figured, you know what, I, I'd love to play around. So let me uh, go ahead and enter one as well. Um, and I had to fiddle with the packaging because of the fact that I made it a little bit wider than I anticipated. So, um, it's not quite sealed yet. But I did use my Cricut Explore Air um, to to make almost everything. So I'll just walk you through it. This is the the topper, um, and what I did was I used several different uh, images for that. And um, this it's not sealed yet, so I'll just go ahead and separate that. But I'll show you this um, and the topper here. I want to make sure I get the light on here. See how it has gold on it and um, it has the little seahorse and seashells. It's been embossed. Um, it's been inked. Um, this part of the topper up here was a separate die, but then the rest I made with the Cricut. Um, so it's got this scalloped border down here. If you could see that, that's um, very intricate. And then another scallop border there that um, that just has. Um, well, this one's scalloped and then it's got the ribbons. This the ribbon I love because I thought it it was um, such a pretty shimmery, uh, but not too uh, crazy ribbon there. Um, and then behind here, if you see there, there's more scallops. And I, I picked that shape because I thought it looked like um, the scales of a fish. And then this one's just got scrolls. So that's a separate image on top. And then the seahorse here, if you see, he's got the little beads there, gems. He's um, been cut out in white paper. And then I used distress inks to color him and also embossing powders and a little bit of glossy accents there. Um, and then some sequins. So that's the topper. And, um, and then I just picked some little ribbons to match and that sort of thing. And then this is the card and she's a gorgeous girl so I'll show you what I did on that and this will be for one of the sweet ladies who was not feeling well and so she created the group I'm sorry and um, and she was uh, away for a little bit so she's getting back into crafting and hopefully she's feeling better so I figured this might make her feel a little bit better um, so this is the background. I went with that swirl and I thought it was really pretty. I love that paper, how the, the gold just catches on that, um, or the light catches the gold. And then here she is. Um, I colored her and used distress inks to color her in, in um, with a watercolor technique. And then I also used, uh, pencils. Prismacolor pencils to finish off her hair, um, and uh, I believe I may have used Tombow markers also for her skin as well as pencils. I, I kind of it's you know mixed media is my thing, so I use several different things. And then she's also got um, um, I'm sorry I'm forgetting um, I um, I did embossing here and there on her tail and then I added embossing also on her hair so there's speckles of color there and blues and greens and then I also did glossy accents to make her hair shimmer and uh, that's what I was going for see there you can capture how much how shimmery she is and that's what I was going for with this project um, and on the card itself, I also did a lot of splatter effects um, and 
I also pierced, I did a, a seahorse in the background and then I pierced it, but then um, I ended up covering most of it up with another seahorse here that's really chunky. It's got a lot of texture because I embossed it with several different powders. That's what I like to do with embossing powders. I like to use them in, a, I guess, in a little bit of a non-traditional way where you can use um, just any stamp it doesn't really the stamp doesn't really have to be the stamp that you've used um, for the image it could just be any random background stamp and then um, you let the embossing powder fall where it may and you get some really cool effects so and then the C um, shells I colored with um, also distress inks I just used three different kinds and then I went ahead and added um, little star sequins to those to make those sparkles, sparkle, I'm sorry. And then this one here is the um, the sea anemone or whatever you would call that, um, coral I think is the proper name. Um, so yeah, so there's that seahorse, he's got um, little sequins surrounding him. And then there's the sand dollar, I, I did this before on another memory decks card, I use those same images um, of the um, the coral and the um, the sand dollar, but the techniques that I use to decorate them are quite different. So, um, and then here, I don't know if you could even see that, but maybe if I hold it like this, it says with love, and this is cut out of vellum. Okay, and I made it shimmery there. So it is very, very subtle, but if um, if you touch it, you feel it's it's dimensional. Um, so yeah, so that's my little card. And it'll be in here with some other little things for her. It was so much fun to make, and, um, and I'm still working on a couple other things. One of the other things that I made last night <laughs> Um, which I haven't finished yet was just this card topper, which I thought was a lot of fun I've not gotten into the whole flamingo thing, but I thought this card was so sweet um, And of course I gave it my own touch personal touch. This is on uh, design space right now as an access file um, So if you have uh, access through Cricut you can make this um, Of course I changed it as I always do um, It's a it was originally a get well card that was the phrase here, but I changed it to hello. And then of course I did my own thing with everything else. So, um, but I love pineapples. So that's why I went ahead and make that. Um, and then I made it glimmery. Um, but the colors I thought were really beautiful. And I did some water coloring on that as well. So, and that came with the envelope. So you can cut the envelope out with that file. And I think I'm going to leave this video here. Um, and I thank you for watching, stopping by my channel. I appreciate all of you who have sub subscribed to my channel. I truly, truly appreciate it. So if you have any questions for me on any techniques or anything you'd like to see, I will respond. And um, I am due to show a fall project. So I'm, I'm really sorry that I'm behind on that, but that will be coming up shortly. And I hope you have a um, a great day. Be inspired and be blessed. Bye.